What three baits should you be using in December? Let's find out. So today we're going to talk about three baits that are hopefully going to help you catch more fish in December because it's getting cold, but it's time to get finesse. I mean finesse. We're going to talk about some jigs. We're going to talk about trailers, tubes, maybe even suspending jerk bait. But today it's all about how you can catch more fish in December. To start off right from the beginning, fish are going to go from the shallow water into the deeper water. Why? It's just where they're going to kind of winterize. It's, it's the best way to put it. They're not going to be scanning that shallow water looking for things, but, they're all, uh, but they will be looking for those slow baits in that deeper water. Right now, December, in January, it's about getting seriously finesse. And by finesse, I mean those bottom baits, those baits that hit the bottom. And you have to work them really, really slow. No more top water baits, no more moving baits. We're looking for the ones that hit the bottom, that you can bounce slowly off the bottom and get that reaction strike because these fish are now lethargic. They're, uh, for Florida people, for Florida anglers, they're gonna start, you're gonna start seeing these fish start to, uh, start to get into their bound chicka, bound, bound stage. I mean, they're, they're just about to, to spawn in some areas. Further south, as it, uh, uh, they, they start spawning. But as you move across, the country from west coast to east coast even to the southern areas these fish are lethargic one of the things i, I like to to tell people when i go fishing with or when i just go fishing or when i can fish with somebody when you think you're fishing it slow slow down even more this is not the time to be ripping and 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 bouncing it off the bottom as fast as possible slow down your baits first off we're going to start about the first bait right off the bat. Tubes. Underappreciated. A tube bait with a jig. Put on the back or just, just a regular jig head like they, they say here. This is a perfect bait to just cast and slowly bounce it, slowly bounce it off the bottom. Right now, you're going to see more bass targeting up, up north. They're going to be targeting crawfish. So crawfish in the winter kind of get their, kind of know it's time to do their thing. So they sneak out and bass are looking to ambush those. Next, a bait that I really like during this time of the year in, De in December, right here. Psh, I don't think you can go wrong with the Sweet Beaver from Reaction Innovations. I think this is one of the best punching baits also a bait that has a ton of action. You can flip it, punch it, do whatever you want, but putting it on a jig head or a finesse swim jig or whatever it is, put it on there as a trailer, cast it, and just work it really slow. Right now, the water temperature dictates how the bass are gonna eat and when they're gonna eat. Up there in the colder states, you'll get largemouth bass that only feed maybe once every three, four, five, six, seven days. Down here, they'll, fish, they'll, they'll eat a little bit more, but these fish are have put on weight for this cold this colder weather so again slow down but you're going to find a much better quality bass right now so my number two bait is as i put down my stuff is a spoon yes the moss boss i think this is called and i'm going to give away all these a spoon is still a, a moving bait but you can cast it out and just really slow retrieve it in on the bottom just to get that little bit of a little bit of a uh, of movement but really slow that bait down and you'll get a lot of strikes my third bait berkeley stunna hank cherry made this this is a phenomenal twitch bait now when you're using a twitch bait here in the summer, you're twitch, 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 making it do that erratic action, not in the winter. Don't even do it. Twitch it and forget about it. Set it and forget it. Twitch it and let it sit there. The new pro 
normal model, I'll slide it back. If you followed all the instructional material, you just set it and forget it. For 20, 30 seconds, just let it sit. Give it a rod twitch so you get that erratic movement and then let it pause. Your baits like the, the even though I don't have it here with me, the Mega Bass uh, Vision 110, perfect. <clears throat> perfect this time of year. Just to twitch it and then let it sit. It'll either, most of them rise a little bit, but they'll rise really slow or they'll fall really slow. Cause that bait just needs to move a little bit and just stop, stop. I've seen pro, pro, uh, pro anglers that let their bait sit there for over a minute. Now we gotta remember is you want them, you're kind of matching the hatch. You're gonna see some shad that are dying off and as they die, they twitch for, they move for a little bit and then they turn to their side and kind of float. So if you're ripping the bait fast, it looks out of place. This is the time to slow down. So rip it and forget about it. Just let it do its own thing. Let it float to the top or slowly sink. And these baits will get hammered by bass because they look like a dying shad or a, di a dying forage fish. And that's what we're looking for right now. We're looking for things on the bottom and things that are very slow and also thing that looks uh, baits that look like they're dying. And a twitch bait, jerk bait is a perfect a perfect uh, bait to use right now. So that's my three baits I think you should be using in December. Uh, by all means, comment below and tell me what you think. Also comment, you have to comment below to win these baits. That's what you gotta do. Thank you for hitting that subscribe and that like button. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe to your own kids fishing. <laughs>